Hi, I'm Chris McRae. And I'm Cameron Nestor. It's good to be back. This week, let's go take a look at Mr. Sweeney and Mr. Harrison with their own pumpkin chunkin'. Hello, I'm Kane Sweeney. I teach technology and engineering here at the high school. And uh, in these classes, we utilize STEM principles to design and create projects that all um, relate to many different aspects of engineering. So what we did recently with our freshman group is Mr. Harris and I collaborated and joined classes and we designed and created um, trebuchets during the history of technology lesson. I'm Mr. Harris, I teach Foundations of Technology. We've been working on the history of technology in this past unit. Um, we decided to go with some middle age technology, learning the trebuchet. The project was to build a tre model trebuchet uh, to launch a pumpkin as far as they could. They had to deal with a lot of problem solving uh, and figuring out how to make the trebuchet work as well as it could to throw the farthest distance. Hey, my name is Jacob and uh, this is uh, Foundations of Tech One and we've been building trebuchets. Um, and basically like we got a little kit and we, um, we got everything put together. We got the, we got everything glued together. Then we put a weight here and then our pumpkins here and it would like launch it. Really far, it was pretty dope. Thanks, Ron. Now let's go take a look at the weather. Good morning, Rider Country. I'm Dejana Wynn, and I'll be your cold weather anchor. Let's jump right into it. So, on Monday through Wednesday, it's going to be rainy, so make sure you wear a sweater or a sweatshirt. Thursday, it's going to be plenty of sunshine, so that's actually pretty great. On Friday, to end it off, it's going to be very cloudy. I'm Dejana Wynn, and here's the weather. Go, Riders. Thanks, Dejana. Y'all thought it was going to be me, wasn't it? Got your next. Did you know the food bank is looking for food all year round? I did not. Well, the silent helpers are doing a food drive, so go donate. Thanks, TJ. And don't forget, that drive starts on Monday. Well, as we all know, homecoming is in full swing. Don't forget about the parade tomorrow at 5 o'clock, downtown Camden. starts at 7 p.m. as well. If you see any of our crew members out during the parade, don't be afraid to come say hi. And we hope to see everyone at Rider Pride Day. That starts Saturday at 9 o'clock and ends at 2. Now, let's go to Dejana's Aesthetic Corner.
Thanks, Sejana. Now, a motivational minute with Kendall. Hello, riders. It's time for motivational moment with Kendall. Today's quote is by Chance the Rapper. It reads, everybody's somebody something. You're all special. Remember that. This has been Motivational Moment with Kendall. Thanks, Kendall. Rider Reviews, which is a segment here on CRN Rider News, will now be taking place after the credits for those who wish to watch. Well, that's all we have for this week. I'm Chris McRae. And I'm Cameron Nestor. And, and let's, let's go, go Riders. riders. Venom is bad. Welcome to Writer Reviews. This is Antonio Rivera. Venom is written by Jeff Pinkner and Scott Rosenberg, directed by Ruben Fleischer, and stars Tom Hardy, Michelle Williams, and Riz Ahmed. I had low expectations for the film from the first trailer, but this line really sealed it for me. You will be this honest, legless, faceless thing, won't you? Rolling down the street like a bird in the wind. When I say Venom is bad, I don't mean that it is the worst film I've ever seen. There are good moments throughout, but they are spaced between several issues. I thought the dynamic between Venom and Eddie Brock was good. They have some decent banter, and listening to them conflict or collaborate is quite fun. However, there's a decision one of them makes that I don't feel is entirely earned. To me, it came after too little development between the two characters and their relationship. Another decent aspect was some of the cinematography. There were some interesting shots throughout and a well-made and appropriately toned scene that transitions the first act into the second. This scene was supposed to be a little scary and intense, and succeeds through the lighting and colors used. I thought Tom Hardy did a good job as Eddie Brock. I know very little about the source material of Venom, but I felt that Hardy worked very well with the mediocre script he was given. Everything else for this movie is not good. Uh, the pacing of Act 1 is painfully slow. I waited for the second act for what felt like an hour, only to realize I was about 30 minutes into the movie. This also has a lot to do with the editing of the film, which I am almost certain was originally meant to be rated R based on what is and is not present. The action ranges from decent to bad, some scenes reminding me of Catwoman. You know, the one with Halle Berry that won four Razzies. The rest of the cast is mediocre, not terrible, but nothing special. The CGI is okay, but sometimes looks very comical, or ruins the coherence of an entire action sequence, making it very confusing to see. Some other VFX are just plain bad and noticeably fake. The villain is also an absolute snore-fest. His motivations are generic and uninteresting, and his mannerisms are the cookie-cutter evil CEO. I don't even remember his name. The movie also has an issue with maintaining a stable tone. There are several moments that express a grim, violent atmosphere, and others that have a little too much levity to match with the rest of the film. The music was also really uninspired and forgettable. I did not like Venom, and as such, I can't actually recommend it. However, I do believe that a better film existed somewhere in this framework. If you still want to see Venom, however, by all means do so. I can't stop you. This is, after all, only my opinion. Next week, I will review First Man.